Below the surface of Dunray lies a legacy of underground services carrying cables and pipes. Some of these were laid in the 1940s when the site was developed as an aerodrome for the Royal Navy. More cables and pipes were laid in the 1950s when the aerodrome was developed as a site for nuclear research. As the site expanded over the next four decades, more services were laid. A lot of these underground cables and pipes are no longer in use, but some are still live and essential to support the decommissioning of the site. The ground near the Dunray Fast Reactor is particularly congested. Some of the underground services were laid so long ago the official records no longer exist. This means project managers need to be cautious when digging up the ground during decommissioning. This was how the area looked in the 1990s when nuclear research came to an end. Today, most of these redundant buildings have been stripped out and knocked down. They've been cleared to make way for a new plant that needs to be built in this area. These new facilities will clean out two underground chambers where radioactive waste from the experiments was sent. Before that can happen, the old service ducts need to be cleared from the area. Running through the middle of the construction site is the low active drain. This buried pipe carries radioactive effluent from the decommissioning of other facilities to the nearby sea discharge tanks. Before construction can start, the drain needs to be rerouted and the old pipe dug up. John Gunn, a local company, won the contract to lay the new drain. The new section of pipe is only 300 metres in length, but the myriad of old cables and services already in the ground means it will take six months to complete the job safely. George Grote is the Dunray engineer in charge of the £500,000 project. The new, new facilities is, is highlighted that the old LED has to be removed. Before we can remove the old LED, we have to put a new LED in, a uh, low active drain. Um, the low active drain will be a six inch pipe, but we'll have uh, a concrete duct um, for the pipe to actually sit in. Um, that's getting constructed by John Gunn and Sons and the, the form work, which is the actual concrete and the steel work and that for the new ducts is being done by a local company, which is Budge Formworks. They'll do that. Um, then, then the actual pipe work itself will be, will be put in and that will be done again by a local contractor, which is Gauss. And um, this should take somewhere in the region about six months to actually complete the whole, the whole the whole phase of putting the new LED in. Um, once we've put in the, the actual duct itself and the pipe work, there's obviously a lot of um, site site work that needs to be done after that. Uh, part of it is actually to remove the old LED. The old LED does have. Uh, areas where we know is there's contamination and, and the soil around it. So that will have to be remediated as well, uh, which is all part of the, the long-term um, environmental aspect as well, not only from clearing the, the site for new construction, but also on an environmental side to clear the, the ground of any environmental issues that there is in that, in that area. And that Hopefully it'll be it'll be carried out uh, in, in the near future.